is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2017 SJ Poor Challenge Gold Sponsors. Bouncer. Keeping the dregs out with their inline filter for home brewers. The Brew Bag. Simply the best way to brew great beer in your home. Yakima Valley Hops. With over 140 hop varieties available. Omega Yeast Labs. Supplying home brewers with high quality yeast. And a special thanks to our silver sponsor, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club. It is time. It is time. Sunday night. And uh, better get into these while they're still nice and fresh. This is going to cover up the code there. Round one, this is the CC Amber Ale from none other than Grant Baker. We're uh, keeping the code secret, which is kind of contrary to what we're meant to be doing because there's only three of us. We know who the beers are from. There's no hub this year. We're just going it alone. And uh, yeah, the person that gets through rounds one and two with their aggregated score, they will have a code and uh, no one will know who it is. So yeah, we're just keeping things kind of uh, secretive and yet transparent. The best way to do things. Speaking of which, hopefully we'll get an election result soon. Yeah. Right. It's an amber ale. I've been doing a little bit of reading about an amber ale. To be honest, I think the only other amber ale that I've had would probably be the it would probably be the last SJ4. Yeah, actually. Grant has kindly put his recipe and um, his hop shed one, which is really cool. So we've got five kilo of American ale, five hundred grams of light crystal, two fifty shivers delight, two hundred grams of rye malt. So if you're a home brewer wanting some recipes, this guy probably knows what he's doing, so I'd um I'd I'll use that recipe. Here's a picture there. And this beer is also fermented with uh, WLP 060 American Ale or Blend. I don't think we have tried that yeast in the beer. So anyway, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy. Small hiss there. This has been out of the fridge for a good 20 minutes just to um, make sure we get some aroma action. Nice clean glass, been pre rinsed. Let's get it poured up, Grant. A little bit of cannon smoke on the pour there. I'm pretty sure, like most beers that Grant does, will be up the keg. Looks really well carbonated. Look at that, spot on. Uh, as you'd expect. Let's have a look at the colour. Yep. That is. It's a shonky torch, but that's some really nice clarity. And um, I mean, if amber is your brief, I would say spot on. Absolutely beautiful color. And um, you can almost make the boat out behind it. If I get confused with the aromas, I went fishing on Friday and there's still a distinct smell of kind of um, snapper and cowboy blood. But anyway, I digress. Let's get an aroma on this one. Tropical fruit and sweet, sweet malt. That's that's the first thing I get. Really, really pleasant. I'm doing a bit of reading for the Amber Ale uh, BJCP guidelines. It did say it should be a really well balanced aroma between malt and hops, and um, so I think you're spot on there. Obviously, I know the hop schedule because we've had to, all three of us had to stick to the same. Uh, schedule. If anything, I think I'm picking up some of that Columbus to me. It's almost like that that spicy. I'd say licorice, but um. Anyway, enough about the aroma and the appearance. Let's dive in. Wow. It's a good beer, right? You know, I'm really getting off this is picking up that rye. I think he used, what was it? 200 grams of rye malt. So there's some, I wouldn't necessarily call it roast, but if you've ever used rye malt before, I've had plenty of beers um, sent to me that have had rye malt in them. I haven't used it myself. 
it's almost got that that coffee the coffee flavour without any astringency or, or deep roast. It's just um just a very mellow just a very mellow roast and um, very distinctively rye. And that Shepherd's Delight, which um, for those of you that are not really initiated with Gladfield's malt, that's given it that really spectacular red colour. In fact, the closer I look, it's um, man, that's super clear, super clear, super red. Um, it's one sexy looking beer. Getting that pine and that resin from the centennial. There's some really nice tropical fruit with a little little hint of citrus. Very I'd say I'd say medium. It's it's quite a it's quite a sticky body. There's some really good upfront um, sweetness, mellow bitterness, but as I say there is that, that pine resin. Uh, that you'd, you'd put down to both um, Centennial and Columbus. Very slight, slight kind of um, almost biscuit or cookie dough. Uh, I'd put that down to the Shepherd's Delight as well. Man, great beer. I've waffled far too long and um, we'd better get a score on that. So cheers very much, Mr. Baker. I'll make you do some scores and um, enjoy the rest of that 500ml bottle, but really appreciate that. And one more beer to try in round one from Mr. Stas. Right, no need for the bottle opener because we've got a PET bottle and um, I've been dreading this day for a while and um, that's the fact that I've been known to tape up Stas's bottles with electrician tape and I think he's duly obliged by uh, taping up this bad boy so I have been growing out my fingernails I started biting them quite late in life and um, yeah and I'm going to struggle with the old stickers but I also had a, a very short-lived career as a spray painter's assistant. How do I say that? It was about a couple of months. So I've uh, used masking tape extensively and I have figured out how to undo tapes on camera, Stas. What's difficult about that, mate? Uh, banter. Cheers, Stas. This might actually be one of my old bottles um, that I've sent to Stas and um, it's been sent over the pond, which is really cool. So yeah, um, I better cover up the uh, code on there, but it is the Koala Crusher, which I'm led to believe is because it's got beach with honey as its um, adjunct. So, technically, it's a pale braggot. So, it's a beer and it's got honey added to, I think, the secondary. Um, and that's what a braggot is. It's, it's kind of a, a malty mead, a honey beer. Yeah. Anyway, I, I haven't had an extensive, um, in fact, I've never had a braggot. In fact, I've only had a couple of meads, so my knowledge of honey and beers is not a lot. I have done a bit of reading. I'm not going to dry it out, but I'm um, looking forward to that. 6%, and um, it's got Gladfield's Ale, Simpsons Light Crystal, and Gladfield Rye. Of course, I just had Grant's beer with a bit of rye in it, and of course, our hops, which we couldn't change. Columbus, Cascade, and Centennial. It's got that Beechworth Eucalyptus Honey, which I've obviously alluded to before, and uh, USO5. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. It's been out for a good half an hour. So, yeah, cheers. That's carved. Nice little hiss. Hmm, interesting. So get that poured up in a nice clean glass. It's super clear in the bottle, so I'm going to try and leave 
for the Schmig and the Otto. So I'll put a Shrew Speed off later. Really nice color. It's about the color of an IPA, possibly slightly darker. Um, let's get our torch through there. So fairly clear. Uh, that was very clear in the bottle. I think it's picked up a little bit of um, stuff from settling out, but not super clear, but um, fairly clear. Semi-opaque. Not picking up a huge, a huge hop aroma. There's a little bit of pine resin. Now, I don't know if it's a pair of suggestion, but I am almost picking up that eucalyptus aroma. Which is interesting. I don't know if any of you guys have um, had a terrible head cold as a child, but I do remember having my head over a bowl of steaming eucalyptus as a child. Thanks, Mum. Yeah. Interesting. It's not big, it's subtle, um, but it does smell fairly pleasant. Not a huge amount of body, but um, as I sort of said, honey dries out of beer, so you, you're going to be struggling to, to have a huge amount of body on that. So. I'd say that's keeping within style. Nice little ring. And uh, yeah, beautiful looking colour. Anyway, I'm thirsty. Let's dive in. Well, that's interesting. The initial impression is that you've, obviously because it visually looks like a, an IPA or a, maybe a pale, I guess, at a stretch, you've got that hoppy, hoppy IPA taste, and then it does have that. I'm not picking up honey, but but I'm definitely picking up that that eucalyptus. I wouldn't say like a grassy, but almost almost like a leafy buzz. Now, bearing in mind I'm not in Australia and uh, a eucalyptus is not a New Zealand native tree, we do have the other eucalyptus and I have crushed the leaves. And I am being reminded of that. That is, that's quite, that's quite strange actually. Um, it might be the power of suggestion, but yeah, I've used it for all sorts. I've used eucalyptus for like removing chewing gum stains, all sorts of stuff. That's yummy. Very interesting beer. It's got some malt there. It's quite thin. It's it's definitely a thinner beer, and I think the honey would have would have helped with that. Really nice in terms of it's slightly warming through a little bit of alcohol, but it's it's not a harsh alcohol, it's just a, a smooth booze. Absolutely no trace of yeast. Which is great because um, that's the key to brewing it. Any good pails is the ability to control the fermentation, and you shouldn't get any characteristics of yeast. And I'm not getting anything at all. So, good on you, Stas. I've I've had all sorts of like corn chip flavors of USO five, and and just not been happy with it in the past. But I realise that's just down to my own ineptitude. This is a very well fermented beer. I am getting a lot more hop flavour in the flavour as opposed to the aroma. It's got some of that juiciness. It's got some of the pine. I don't think it's over hopped. It hasn't got um, the amount of hops being thrown at there, but I don't think there's a lot. I wouldn't suspect there's a heap of dry hopping going on, but um, that is a very drinkable beer. A really nice spin on a pale ale with fat honey in it. And... Uh, yeah, bloody nice beer, Stas. So, um, cheers. That's my second beer of round one. Round one's all over. I better go score this. And, uh, yeah, move on to round two. So, she's a very small SJ pool, but um, having Stas and Mr. Baker in there, um, you know, some of, the, some of the best dudes on YouTube and um, some obviously very good brewers. So, appreciate that. 
I'll see you in round two.